I've got some hands-on indoor activities for the STEM-loving kid. Welcome, welcome to Joyful Noise Learning. I'm Ashley, if we haven't met yet, and I love to homeschool my three kids, ages 10, eight, and five. Been doing it since 2013, and I love to share here on this channel with you, encouragement with homeschooling, Charlotte Mason-inspired homeschool tips, and affordable homeschool ideas that will help you and your family if you are on a budget. So at this time of year, we need some more ideas to get our kids being creative and building and, and moving and maybe even doing something a little bit quiet, more quietly in the afternoons or while mom needs to get a little bit of work done around the house. So I came up with a few ideas to help you with your kids who love to build or create. And maybe they're growing into other activities beyond their little toddler preschool toys. So I want to help you do that and give you some great ideas for this season. Before I start, before I, start I want to say that our goal with these activities is to inspire the kids and their own creativity. We want our kids to build and create without a lot of parent intervention. So you're not looking for perfection here, whether they're doing the crafty activities or these STEM activities. You're not looking for perfection. You're looking for kids to just try and get their hands hands in it, their, get their hands messy or just get it done and learn and grow from these activities. So you don't want an adult standing there telling them what to do. You basically give them the idea, give them the supplies, and then let them try it. So this isn't the kind of activity where you're going to stand over their shoulder and be like, oh, you didn't do that, or maybe you could try this. You want the kid to come up with that and experience all that on their own with as little parent intervention as possible. Before I get into specifics on some good ideas for these activities, I want you to uh, know that you can do this affordably. Instead of just running out and go buying a bunch of stuff, you can look at what you already have in your home. I will link down below to any of the supplies that I do recommend, but again, look inside your house, look at what you have, and use what's already available to you. And I know that sometimes libraries have some options for things you can check out and take home. Uh, I know they did in the past. I'm not sure what they're doing now, but that might be an option for you guys. So do you have Legos? Do you have blocks? Do you have cooking supplies? All those simple things you can use that you already have at your house. But there are a few things I do recommend that you have on hand in your own supply. And that would be some basic craft supplies. You can't go to the dollar store to get these. Or that's okay. Uh, but you want paper, glue, scissors, maybe an X-Acto knife to cut some things. And then make sure that you save some of your household items, like your toilet paper and your paper towel tubes. <laughs> Those can go a long way. You can save your Kleenex boxes. You can save big cardboard boxes. And you can save your old food tubs or containers. We have a giant pretzel tub or like a giant oatmeal tub. Like those, they can use those. So for a lot of these ideas, I have discovered, I think her name is Sarah, at Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls. Oh my goodness, guys. If you have not checked out her site, she is incredible. I've been following her for a few years and she just gives some great ideas for things to do with all your toys um, that the kids can do for building and making things. So a lot of these ideas I got from her or you can go check her out on your own. So on to the activities. So my favorite one right now is the Kiva Blocks. We just got a set of the Kiva blocks for Christmas and my kids have been loving this. So they do kind of seem like a mess when they're all just strewn across the floor, but they're really easy to clean up. You just pick them up, throw them back in the bag, but the kids can build towers. They can build marble runs. Ready? We are making a basketball on mine. Um, the best, this is not a part of it. It's, it's a thing that the, the basketball hoop is gonna be on. Okay. And I'm gonna make it this wall thing. I start doing this. And Olden's just making this wall thing. I'm making a basketball hoop. He's also making a what? A basketball hoop. Awesome. He's also making one. <laughs> Yeah, but the Kiva blocks have been a really great addition uh, to our household for indoor activities. And then Legos, of course, you've got to have Legos. But again, you don't have to go out and get a fancy set. You just get the basic Lego sets and the kids can be creative with this. If they do need some ideas, uh, Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls has some Lego cards, like Lego challenges. Or you can get the books at the library that show kids ideas on what to make if they're running out of ideas and they need something fresh. 
Uh, one of my favorites that I saw was Star Wars Lego cards <laughs> where you can make just like a portrait, like a flat 2D portrait of Lego characters. It looks really cute. There's even a baby Yoda one. So, yeah. All right, the next activity that I was thinking of was creating a marble run. So again, you can get a set. You can get a fancy plastic set that they can build with and take down, create, redo it. Um, this one is not as quiet, I guess. It's not often that quiet, but <laughs> but it's a good indoor activity that doesn't involve running or moving around. Uh, but they can take those supplies that you've saved, the boxes, the tubes, and create their own. You can do it on the wall if you don't mind them taping on the wall or the side of a counter or on a giant cardboard box. And they can tape these tubes together and create their own marble run. Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls also has some great challenges for that one as well. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here. If you missed my video for indoor activities for the active kid or the indoor activities for the crafty kid, uh, you can watch that on my channel here. And then I have coming out soon, we're gonna have a video also for indoor activities for the techie kids. So yeah, most of them, you know, wanna play indoors anyway, but maybe they can do a few other things other than their regular video games or their movies, right? So I've got a few ideas for that. So uh, you can subscribe to my channel to make sure you get that notification for that. Um, or you can like this video and I really appreciate the support you guys get here. So. I hope you have a great day. You rock at homeschooling. Make sure you go find your joy among the noise. And I will see you next time. Oh, so um, I'm making another thing, which it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be taller. A little bit taller than the best ball hoop because the ball is gonna go over here. Go in it. It's gonna, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna go, keep going, and then touch right here. Sounds like a good plan.